Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So before creating a new project in the React, let's try to see the official documentation of the React, how the official documentation will look like. If you see here, this is the React official documentation. So this is the home page. And whenever you are trying to learn the React means, so you need to click on the button, learn React. Here you will be able to see some uh, links and all those things. So here they will be giving you some, uh, what I can say, how to how to say, how to create a project and all those things they are doing. And here they have given the installation. So this one will guide you how to install a new project and all those things, so which we will try to see now. And here you will be able to see the steps and all those things, how we can develop it. These all things. And here and another link which I want to tell you is the reference. So if you try to click on this reference, you will be able to see all the methods, every single method which we use in the React is mentioned here. Like you uh, up to now we have used one method something like use state. If you want to learn more about this use state means so you can go through this entire documentation. So they will give complete details about this use state. So like this, you will be having all the reference. So each and every method whatever the method you are trying to use it they will provide you the information about this one so this is thing which i want to tell you so if you want to learn more about this one means so i have given you just overview of the use state right if you want to know deeper about the use state means so you can go through the reference and you can click on the method use state and you can learn it so this is all about the documentation and the learn thing <coughs> and uh, whatever again is this, you can there is also one important thing something like escape hatches so which it is a worthful uh, reading this one. So when uh, you might need an effect and uh, separating events from effects. So like this we will be having, we'll try to see those things also. So before going on to this one, so just try to see how we can create a new react project for building an application. So this is the thing. So create a new react project. Let's try to have some overview about this one. In real world, we don't write code in react apps in ja single JavaScript file without any tooling. In our previous video, we have recreated the simple React app in a single file, index.html file. We have written the HTML, the React code and everything we have written it, right? So, but in the real world, it will not be like that. Let's learn about the options, what we have in order to create a brand new React project. There are two main options for setting up the React project. One is create React app tool and another one is a wheat build tool. So these are the two options which we can create a new react project. So what is what are the advantages and disadvantages of these both two? Let's try to see. Create react app is basically is complete starter kit for react application. It was developed many years ago in order to make it really easy for developers to scap hold the new react apps. So this is one thing. All the developer tools are already pre-configured out of the box in Re create react app tool specifically for react. It will automatically comes with a webpack which is a module bundler and eslint which is a linter, prettier which is a code formatter and test just a testing library. So these all comes predefined configured with you when you try to create a react app with create react app tool. The problem with create react app is that it was developed many years ago. It uses some slow and outdated technologies like webpack bundler. So these are the things which create react app. Uh, the problem is so it, it was it, it was very slow when you are trying to develop. It has really stopped innovating. So the updation and all those things has really stopped. And therefore, right now, the recommendation is not to not use create react app for making real world projects anymore. So if you want to create a large scale real world application, then create react app is not a recommended one. However, it is still perfectly the fine way to get started quickly with a react with a new react app for tutorials, courses, courses for simple experiments. So if you are trying to learn the react and all the things, all the things comes uh, in ship, right? So like uh, EGIST and all the things pre-configured that one. So it is really uh, nice to if you are trying to learn a react app. You can create a react app with the create react app. It's not a problem. It's, it's fine. So you can learn it with this. You may be reading some articles that create react app is dead, but that's not, that's only true for building real apps for learning. It is hundred percent fine. So some articles and all those things outside, they will be telling that re create react app is dead and all those things. So, but uh, for real world applications, if you are trying to build it, so that is not hundred percent true, but 
uh, what I can say is for learning, if you are trying to learn and all those things, it is 100% fine. You will not encounter problems for small scale applications, but large scale apps will face like slow refresh times. So this is the problem in the create react app. Now, if you want to build real world applications with react means then wheat is the perfect choice. If you want to develop real world applications, then wheat is the perfect choice. Wheat is quite different from create react app. It is basically simple, a modern build tool like modern webpack. It also contains starter template for setting up the brand new react applications. Automatically, when you try to create a app with wheat means it will automatically comes with a starter template like scaffolding. If you create react app with wheat, you will have to manually set up many important developer tools like ESLint, Prettier, just uh, testing library, anything and so on. So like this, you need to set up manually if you create a react app with wheat, whereas in the create react app, these all comes with pre-configured. The most painful and annoying is setting up these all ESLint and developer tools to play nice with react. This that can be a bit of work and it can go wrong. So this, this involves a lot of work in order to pre-configure this type of uh, developer tools and all those things. Sometimes it may go wrong also. I recommend develop using create react app for tutorials when we just want to get up and running as quickly as possible. So when you are, whenever you are trying to learn, whenever you are learning about the react and all those things means I recommend uh, use the create react app for learning. Why? Because it is uh, pretty much easy to start and you can learn it as quickly as possible. So instead of setting up and all those things, so you will be uh, completing very quickly and you can learn the react and afterwards you can go for wheat. Then why wheat is even in first place? The reason is that it is just extremely fast to automatically refresh the page when the code changes, which we call it as an hot module replace, replacement. Whenever we, we change the code, automatically it is very fast. It will refresh the page instantly. So that is the reason it is first place. Bundling is extremely fast, which for large scale application can really make a difference. So the bundling in the wheat is very fast, which we developing a large scale applications means it can really make a difference because waiting for one or two seconds, it can become really an annoying over time. But with wheat, the page will update almost instantly. In summary, what I want to tell you is we will create we will see create react app for small projects in this course. At the end of this uh, course, I will develop a large app, large scale applications one or two, and we will develop those all the things with wheat to make a real world app. So that one we'll try to develop with real world app. So for learning and all those things, I will be creating a simple, simple for small projects for demonstration. I will use it create react app. At the final, we will develop the uh, real world app with wheat and all those things. Okay. So that is the thing which I was uh, trying to tell you. Whenever if you see react documentation, react team now advises developers to use so called react framework like Next.js and Remix to build new projects. So for example, let's say that if you open this react and if you go to the installation, <clears throat> start and create an app, if you try to see here, if you want to build a new app or a new website fully with react, we recommend picking one of the react frameworks popularly. So like Next.js and Remix, it is asking us to develop. So the react team, the react team itself is advising us to use a react framework. Many people think that this is not the best idea. Vanilla. Uh, so many people think that this is not the best idea. Why? Because using the Next.js and Remix at the starting only, it's not the best idea. Vanilla react apps is also important too. <clears throat> okay, so this only makes sense for building actual real time projects. For example, when you are trying to build a real time project, this actually makes sense. <coughs> but when you are uh, trying to learn the react means so this doesn't make any sense. Why? Because Next.js and Remix are built on the top of the react. Okay, are built on the top of the react. So that means in order to uh, implement a project application in the Next.js means you need to learn the react. So directly implementing this next JS means you need to learn the react. So that is the reason. So for learning react and all those things, that is also important before proceeding into the react framework. Of course, you still not to re, uh, of course, you still need to learn react itself when you are trying to develop application with the next JS or remix. So don't worry about this one. So this one, this course is completely on this one, right? So react, we will uh, just learn the react only. So don't worry about these all the things we will try to learn react and we will develop the react application using the wheat and the create react app. So that's it guys about this uh, explanation about the new pro react project in this one. So many people will be having doubt. So how to start a react project. 
so i think this this has given you a clear idea there are two options available that is create uh, react app and wheat wheat is used used for the re building real world applications which we will try to see and uh, create react app is used for uh, learning purpose we can use it not a problem so still we can use it if you want you can also use the wheat also it's not a thing so but eslint and all those things are pre configured in the create react app whereas in the wheat we need to manually configure it so these are all the things we will try to see with the wheat in the final time when we learn all the concepts we will develop a real world application with the wheat only so that's it guys about the react documentation in the next video we will see we will set up a project using the create react app hope you understood about this uh, <coughs> Re uh, react official documentation and also the setting up the real react project if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you